Hi there, Steve McGee uh, from my Parliament House uh, office. Back in Parliament uh, today for this week, uh, today the 12th of October. Uh, I've done a member statement, submitted a member statement today. It's in reference to uh, our educators, our teachers and our school staff and of course the school communities. And I just want to thank uh, all those teachers and principals and school staff, administration staff, support staff in assisting our kids in this, you know, the last 18, 19 months uh, of the up and downs of uh, the COVID virus. And of course, all the school kids. Um, and we know that, you know, some many thousands of our um, year 12s um, sat their gat last week uh, and are preparing for examinations and the uh, uh, younger younger children, uh, some of them are back at uh, at school uh, in different parts of the state. But um, they put up an enormous effort, and they need to continue until the end of this year. And obviously, we'll have all our kids back in once we get to that eighty percent mark. The kids will come back you know, in the next few weeks in full. So that'll be great to look at. Some other things in regard to my statement today was in reference to some nominations in regard to. Um, some educators and excellence awards, so the Victorian Education Excellence Awards, and I'm pleased to announce that Arnold's Creek leadership team from the principal down um, have been nominated and one of the top awards there. And also um, out at uh, Melton Primary School, I think it was, yeah, um, Tiffany Thomas has been uh, nominated for Outstanding Early Career Primary Teacher uh, category, so we wish them well and we know that they do a fantastic job. And finally, I just want to acknowledge two long-serving careers and two long-serving teachers in the Melton electorate, and that's Karen Guest at Melton Primary School and also Jennifer Dockery at Melton South Primary School. I know that they've had extensive um, experience in this industry uh, in excess of 40 years for both of them is my understanding, and congratulations to them and thank you for your efforts. So thanks again. Uh, be talking on some pieces of legislation um, later this week. We'll do a report back on that uh, and we'll catch you then. Thanks very much.